Close to Edinburgh's Botanic Gardens is the site where once stood a row of houses. They are now demolished. One house in particular, number 17, held a very gruesome secret. At the turn of the 19th century, after sitting empty for years, the house was bought by an enterprising husband and wife who wanted to use it as a boarding house. It was not long before they realised there was a strange atmosphere in one of the attic rooms. People were reluctant to enter this room, let alone use it. It seemed as if something or someone was in the room with them. On one occasion, a young girl who was employed as a housekeeper went in the attic room only to re-emerge instantly screaming hysterically. She collapsed with shock and when she was revived she could not be enticed to describe what had terrified her in the room. Word soon spread about the room in number 17 and soon university students were starting to dare each other to take up residence there. Andrew Muir was the young man who took up the dare. He was religious and was interested in the story of the room from a spiritual point of view. He spoke to the owners of the house and offered to spend a night in the room. The owners agreed and gave Andrew Muir a bell along with instructions to ring it if he saw anything. Everyone in the house went to bed and left Andrew to his lonely vigil in the attic. Everything was quiet when suddenly they were awoken by the noise of the bell and a horrifying scream of fear and horror. Everyone rushed to the room and found Andrew Muir lying dead and the bell was at his side. On his face was a look of abject terror. Had he seen something so horrible that it literally frightened him? After this incident, the room was never used again and the house was demolished 20 years later.